Hi there, it's Nicole here today sharing a fall themed card with waffle flower stamps and dies. And I'm going to create a fall stamped background, almost creating your own pattern paper, and then a gold gilded border and gold gilded stamped greeting. So to, cr to start, I am stamping a whole bunch of the images from the Hello Fall stamp set on a background piece of cardstock that is four and a quarter by five and a half inches. This is an A2 sized background. And I'm simply filling in the background with the solid stamps and the outline stamps. The fantastic thing about this stamp set is there's a combination of both, plus there are the images to fill in all of those outline stamps plus some layering images. You can create some really fantastic detailed backgrounds with this stamp set. It's really perfect for fall. This is a hello fall type of card. It's a, a, a hello card, excuse me, a hello card that can work for any time during the fall season because it has those fantastic autumn themed images. I am using Distress Oxide inks because they give such fantastic coverage because of the pigment ink in these ink pads. I love the range of colors. The colors I'm using are Fired Brick, Spiced Marmalade, Wild Honey, Fossilized Amber, Peeled Paint, and Vintage Photo. These really spoke to me as some fantastic fall themed colors. You can see I am doing a little bit of the rock and roll technique where I am picking up the fossilized amber color, rolling on a little bit of the wild honey to give my leaves some dimension um, and multiple colors. I love the rock and roll technique for this. It works fantastic with pigment inks. So dist Distress Oxides are going to be fantastic for this. Even the Fired Brick, I'll ink up my leaves with it, roll on a little vintage photo to kind of help darken them up a little bit, and then stamp the image. There is no right or wrong with this. Now I felt like my background still needed a little something. So I'm taking some of the smaller images from that same stamp set and simply filling in the white space with these. Just solid color stamped images, smaller leaves, um, some greens, some um, other colors, it just whatever I needed to fill that in. Then I've got another piece of A2 sized cardstock, this time in black. And I am going to use some of the misty corners and angles to help guide me as to where I want to stamp my greeting on this background. Now I'm cutting apart the hello fall greeting from this stamp set. You can put it back together very, very easily. This is one of the great things about clear stamp sets is that you can customize them. If the orientation of your greeting isn't exactly the way you want it, you can always trim them apart and then they will fit back together. You can position them back together in your Misty or on your acrylic block the next time you want to use them and maybe use it the way it came. I want Hello Fall to go along an angled border. That's why I use that angle corner clear acrylic piece to line up my greetings um, along that edge. And then I'm stamping this with sticky uh, or with Versamark ink, and I'm going to go ahead and use sticky embossing powder. This is the key to making this sticky so that the gilding flakes will stick to it. I am addicted to gilding flakes. I think they are so fantastic and they create a completely different look than embossing powder. They're going to have some awesome, it looks like texture, but they're, they're, gonna feel nice and flat because you get all the extra flakes off, but you can create some really amazing techniques. So I'm gonna heat this up. It is very sticky and it is the key to getting those gilding flakes to attach. So any image or greeting that you want to add gilding flakes to, the sticky embossing powder works fantastic. So I'm gonna grab some of the radiant gold gilding flakes and I've, just gonna get little pieces here and just stick them all over my greeting. 
I'm trying to just take little bits because it goes so far. A little bit goes a long way. And then I'm going to just rub off any of that excess and you can see the fantastic greeting left behind, but it's still super messy. This is where some sort of a stipple brush or an ink duster brush like I'm using here comes in so handy. You just rub that over the gilding flakes and it's going to pick them up. Another essential tool when working with gilding flakes because they can be super messy is I like to use the Swiffer dry cloths. It attracts the gilding flakes and it sticks to them. So just swipe that and it cleans it up perfectly. Using the same angle that I used for the Hello Fall, I'm gonna just trim my background that we stamped earlier at an angle. And I'm gonna position that there right underneath. It's a little bit longer, I think, than what I'm gonna need, but I can trim that down in a little bit. Along the top edge, I'm gonna take some 1 4th inch score tape and place that along the edge. I feel like there needs to be a little bit of a divider between the greeting on the black and then the pattern paper background. Again, I'm gonna take the gold gilding flakes and simply start adding those to the score tape. Score tape comes in a lot of different widths, so you instantly have this great sticky border and it makes a fantastic little border. It separates the two, the background from the pattern paper that we stamped piece so nicely. I think it really helps highlight both areas of the card. Same thing as before, I'm gonna rub off the excess, take a duster brush and get rid of any extra little flakes. Look at that awesome gold border. That's gonna look fantastic on the card. I'll take a Swiffer dry cloth and clean that up again. And then I want to attach this right underneath my stamped greeting. Now you can see it's a little bit too long, so I'm just gonna take my tonic guillotine trimmer and trim off that white cardstock from the bottom. And also I've got a little bit that's hanging over the side. My paper maybe wasn't super even or something. So once I have that squared up, I will square up the bottom. And there is my background panel. I thought maybe I needed a few dimensional embellishments. So on another piece of white cardstock, I'm gonna stamp a lot of the same images that I used for my background. But this time, it doesn't matter where I stamp them, I'm gonna use the coordinating dies to die cut these and create a little collage to the right of my greeting. Just like before, I am stamping the outline images and filling them in with Distress Oxide inks. I love that the pumpkin part of the image and the stem are two separate, the solid pieces are two separate stamps, so you can stamp them in two different colors. I'm gonna stamp the leaf image, the solid leaf image, add the layering to that, die cut these, and then I'm just gonna figure out my placement here. I think this will really help kind of balance out the whole design and finish it off nicely. So once I have these all laid out kind of the way I think I want them to look, I'm gonna go ahead and attach these with some adhesive. I'm trying to decide if I need any other images or if this is going to be enough. There are lots of images in this Hello Fall stamp set. It's just phenomenal, I really love it. And I did decide to stamp another image here. A little green leaf. I think that'll balance it out nicely. Grab that coordinating die. I love that there's dies for all the little shapes. Adhere them there. I'm going to take a white top fold card base, attach this panel right to that using a nice strong adhesive. I like the glue glider adhesive for this step. And the panel fills the entire front of an A2 sized card. 
And that will finish up my Hello Fall card featuring a custom stamped background and gold gilded border and greeting. Thanks for joining me today for this card showcasing waffle flower stamps and dies. The supplies I used are listed and linked below the video here on YouTube. Here are a couple more videos featuring waffle flower that you might be interested in. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you next time.